Hey guys, what's happening? Today, you are in for a treat. We're gonna be making German spiced cookies. This is my Oma's recipe, and it's my absolute favorite cookie. I even requested them for my wedding. It's chocolatey, it's nutty, it has some warmth from the spices. It's what gingerbread wishes it was. Let's get into it. Hello, I'm Grace, and welcome to Once Upon a Couch, a place where I apply my background in math and psych to help optimize your journey towards reaching your fitness goal. Today I'm going to talk about something many people struggle with, emotional eating. We've all been there, times get tough, and food can be comforting. One strategy I've developed is instead of buying your treats and goodies, make them yourself. This has many benefits over just buying. One, cooking gets you up and moving, so it's a bit of exercise. Two, you see what goes into it. So ultimately, it's healthier, you see all the ingredients, you pick and choose how much sugar and butter you want, and sometimes after seeing the amount of butter that goes in, you often eat less. <laughs> Three, there's no preservative or strange chemicals. Four, cooking is also a distraction from your emotions and gives you something creative and constructive to do. Five, it gives you something you can share with others. I know my husband always loves when I make cookies, and he's more likely to do laundry after, so win-win. Six, homemade just tastes better. These old-fashioned German spice cookies are my favorite cookies. They are called Pfeffernus, which translates to peppernut. This is a cookie usually consumed at Christmas time, but I'm an adult now, so I can make these whenever I want. What? So let's get started. Oh dear, this is what happens when you give your husband free reign of the kitchen. <laughs> let's clean this up with some movie magic. There, that's better. Now for the ingredients. We have baking powder, cocoa powder, honey, fancy molasses, butter, flour, cinnamon, white pepper, brown sugar, ground nutmeg, two eggs, lemon, walnuts, and salt. First thing we do is heat up our sweet stuff. So grab a small saucepan and add 200 grams of honey. Followed by 100 grams of fancy molasses, 125 grams of brown sugar, 150 grams of butter. We put this on medium heat, stirring occasionally until it boils, then immediately remove from the heat and let it cool while we mix our dry ingredients together. Sift together 500 grams of all-purpose flour, followed by 60 grams of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of ground white pepper, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And lastly, one quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Mix it all together, taking care to spill some on the counter. <laughs> now we add in 100 grams of chopped walnuts. Normally I would chop these finer, but today I'm going for some heterogeneous texture. Next we want to add in one teaspoon of finely grated lemon zest. And if you feel like it, you can add 45 grams of mixed peel. Make a well in the center of the dry mix. Crack your eggs into your most extra mug and beat them lightly. Add our eggs and molasses concoction, which should be cool by now. Otherwise, you will have scrambled eggs in your cookies, which is a different recipe. And mix, mix, mix. Work those guns. Bump the camera, mix, mix, mix. We're gonna put half of it in plastic wrap for another day. 
keeps in the fridge for a while so you can have fresh cookies later in the week. Wrap the bowl and refrigerate for about two hours or until the mixture looks solid. It's been two hours of waiting for the dough in the fridge, so we're ready to go to the next step. I've prepared a baking sheet. I have a baking mat here, but you can use parchment paper. That'll work just fine. Pull out your dough from the fridge. All right, so I'm pulling about a tablespoon. I'm gonna roll it into a nice ball. Like such. And put three by six, let's say. All right, and here is the last ball. Next, we place this in the oven. Perfect timing, because I just heard the beeper go off. All right, these are perfect. A bit bigger than what I was expecting them to be or what I normally make them at, but they look delicious. So what we're gonna do is just let them cool and then we'll transfer them to a plate. In here are the cookies. Let's crack one open and see what it looks like. Haha, oh, perfect. So good. I'm just gonna take a few more. <laughs> At the holidays, we dip them in chocolate and cover them in sprinkles. You can also put icing or powdered sugar on them as well. You can store the cookies in an airtight container for two to three weeks at room temperature, if they last that long. <laughs> If you like this video, my channel offers replacement recipes, low to moderate intensity workouts, and the free the mess method for reaching your fitness goal. Check out my channel if you're interested. <laughs>